गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल मूव अहेड विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज इंसेक्टिवरस प्लांट्स सम प्लांट्स इट इंसेक्ट्स सच प्लांट्स आर कॉल्ड इंसेक्टिवरस प्लांट्स दे ट्रैप एंड डाइजेस्ट द इंसेक्ट्स एग्जाम्पल पिचर प्लांट वीनस फ्लाई ट्रैप ब्लेड वॉट एंड ड्रॉसेरा दीज आर द सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ पिचर प्लांट नाउ इन दिस लाइट आई हैव शोन यू the pictures of some of the insectivorous plant you can see venus fly trap and pitcher plant now question arises what will be the mechanism of trapping insect in pitcher plant before that you must understand why these insectivorous plant they feed on the uh, insects because the soil in which they grow that soil is already deficient in nitrogen just to uh, meet the demand of that nitrogen they feed on the insects basically all the plants they require nitrogen for their general growth and development and insectivorous plant they do not get nitrogen from the soil in which they grow so they take up nitrogen from insects body that's why they trap insects how they trap in case of pitcher plant just before you have seen the picture of a pitcher plant its color is bright and it makes it attractive to the insects the leaf are modified and changed to form a pitcher like structure pitcher means earthen pot surahi pitcher like structure when an insect sits on to its mouth the lid that is its cover closes and the insects get trapped into that pitcher it is then digested by the enzymes secreted by the plants now next and last type of heterotrophic nutrition is symbiosis symbiosis it is a relationship between two organisms in which both the organism benefit each other it's a kind of a give and take relationship if you see in case of parasitic nutrition one organism that is parasite takes everything from the host and in return do not give anything to the host but in this symbiosis what happens that it's a kind of a partnership between two organism it's a give and take relationship between two organism symbiosis means living together in our society also there should be a symbiotic relationship give and take relationship should be there means uh, everyone should be helpful now in this picture you can see i have given you the some of the examples of symbiotic relationship you see lichens lichens growing on the bark of the tree lichens is a association of two organism one is fungus another one is alga alga is singular when we say algae when e comes after it it becomes plural so fungus plus alga uh, makes lichens fungus supplies water and mineral to the alga because they are very good in absorption part so they absorb water and minerals and alga they are green in color they prepare food together both of them is called lichens another symbiotic association is the association between or the partnership between bacterium called rhizobium and the root nodules of legumes plant legumes are the pulses you can see in the picture i have shown you you can see in the root nodules of the leguminous plant the swollen like structures are known as uh, the root nodules and in the root nodules of the leguminous plant one bacteria lives that bacteria is known as rhizobium bacteria now there is again the uh, symbiotic association between bacteria and the plant what the bacteria gives it gives nitrogen to the plant in the form of nitrate and this uh, plant leguminous plant in return provides food and shelter to the bacteria so in this way its symbiosis is a give and take relationship now your homework is note down the content of the slides and class work copy read the chapter and revise class work thank you very much